system is running very slow there is a huge lag in the machine the performance of your computer is very bad if that's so today in this video I'll tell you one of the most powerful ways to speed up any computer and that too without installing any third-party application in the machine the which is the best part so please follow me all the steps with all the patience you have and I'm sure your system will be up and running just like a brand new machine so let's get started so the very first thing which we will do is to open the run window so either you can do a right click here and go to run or you can simply press window and R and this run window will appear and here type clean MGR so that's a very first step I'll tell you five steps to clean the machine and then restart and then see the magic so here click on OK so once you click on OK a disk cleanup utility will come and you just have to check mark all the things if you have something in your recycle bin copy it somewhere and delete so currently my system is very clean this is why I'm only having 618 megabytes of data but in your computer you might have 10 15 or maybe 20 GB of junk sitting in your machine the things which we are deleting here are all cache temporary files whenever we open any application temporary files cache gets created which we do not actually create so it's absolutely okay to delete all these so once you select the check mark click on OK and then click on delete files so now we are cleaning the junk from the machine so that's a very first simple steps and most of you guys know it but there are some more steps which we will be following to make the computer absolutely fast so we are done with this now again we will press window and R or simply do a right click and run and here we will type temp once you open temp select any of the file and then press control A once you do that we need to press shift and delete now when we select shift and delete after selecting all the folders all the junk from the temp we are pressing shift and key just to delete them permanently and then just say yes and it will be deleted some of the files will not be deleted and that is absolutely fine just check mark and skip that's absolutely fine few of the files will not get deleted that's pretty okay now the third step is again pressing window and R and this time in the temp we will type temp percentage percentage temp percentage this is a another location of windows where all the registries gets created now all these registries are software related whenever you perform any task these registries are get I mean gets created so it's absolutely okay to delete all these I'll just press control A and then click on shift delete and in this manner I'm getting rid of all these 909 I just cleaned my system five days ago and still I have these because I am a heavy user of computer I do a lot of stuff so in your case you might have more than this and your computer will actually thank you once you delete all these chunks unwanted files once this is done we will move to the next step and that is to open again the run window and type inet cpl dot cpl okay so system some of uh, some of you guys also have uh, faced slow browser issues if you any of your favorite browser like edge internet explorer google chrome firefox you might get some slow performance so for that go to connections and click on LAN settings and check if there are any proxies there if any proxies there just uncheck it and click on automatically detect settings that needs to be done once it is done 
click on OK and type inetcpl.cpl and this time we will go to advanced and here we will restore to advanced settings and then click on reset now here we need to check mark this delete personal settings because some of the cookies may have got corrupted and this will also reset the home page uh, you know uh, the browser favorites the cookies accelerators temporary files will get deleted so if you have some important bookmarks you can simply export it or else I would recommend to just reset it alright so once it is done we will again press the window and R and this time we will type P R E F E T C H and then hit OK once you click on OK it will again ask for the permission you just need to click on continue and here you will find many application um, files there so just select any of the file and press ctrl A and shift delete so I have 244 items which I just deleted now again when you turn on the machine the startup time is very high so how to fix it it's because of you you must have many applications running at the startup which is a big problem I have seen many out of 10 customers 10 people I find 9 people have so many unwanted applications at the startup which they don't even use it so to fix that we will go to start menu and just do a right click and then go to task manager once the task manager is opened we will go to startup and guys if you have not subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe and like the video I need to support now here in the startup make sure all unwanted unknown applications except Microsoft or the application which you use uh, very often when I say often very often that means every time whenever you open because whatever the startup applications we have if I disable them I still can open them it just it will not automatically open without my permission so I use Photoshop Creative Cloud but I have disabled it so when I turn on the machine I manually open them I just don't want those applications to open so here just click on it either you can do a right click and click on disable whatever the uh, applications unwanted applications you have and make sure you do not disable any graphics or security or any third-party application which you have installed uh, which requires to run the machine mostly uh, the Windows and um, other like HP Dell services make sure you don't delete uh, disable it and once you disable all them just close it and here in processes tab as well check what our applications are running currently close that as well sometimes when you open too many applications the use the CPU usage gets very high so you can always come to the task manager and from the apps you can simply click on that and end the task how we can do that like if I want to close this Google Chrome I'll just do a right click and I'll click on end task so in this manner I'm releasing the you know space I am so in this manner the usage will be lesser than earlier okay so once this is done you just need to restart the machine and if you have any kind of viruses or any if you think that you get you're getting any pop-ups in your machine or any kind of adverse coming to your machine anything which is weird and you haven't seen that then what you can what I would recommend is to open the browser and install any cleaner I recommend to inst install advanced system care or uh, C cleaner that is a cleaner but if you think even if you have a small doubt that you have a virus in your machine what you need to do is I'll tell you two applications which is malware bytes just type malware bytes in the Google and the very first option make sure you're opening the organic result not the ad result so I'll just click on malware bytes 
so you just need to download it's absolutely free you don't have to pay anything for it just download it scan and by clicking on continue delete all the viruses restart the machine and then come here in the search bar and type add or remove programs and click on it and uninstall malwarebytes okay and if still the issues is there then you can open the Google Chrome or any of your favorite browser and type super anti spam it's a well known program I mean both the programs are used by millions of users across the globe so be assured don't worry about it so once you type super anti spyware you will see the first result I'm looking for the organic result and again it's absolutely free from here you can download the free trial install it scan it for viruses then click on continue to remove it and then restart and after that uninstall so in this manner we have cleaned up the machine we have cleaned up the browser we have cleaned up the computer viruses whatever the junks we have the adware spyware malware trojans we have removed and once we restart and we have also cleared the startup so we have actually done so many things and it's super easy right so once you restart the machine your system gonna work definitely faster than earlier please hit the like button and subscribe this and please share this video if you can to your family members or friends I need your support guys and I'll see you in the next video take care bye bye